If you're not familiar with the term yak shaping, it's the phenomenon of getting into a project, realizing there's another project you need to do in order to complete your original project, and then another project to complete that one, and on and on, until you find yourself doing something completely unrelated, like helping a friend shave a yak in exchange for borrowing the tool that you need to do the project, to do the project, to do the project, that you honestly may or may not remember what it was originally anyway. And that's what this is. But before I do that, I want to make a little fixture to help me sharpen my yak shears. These holes aren't quite round and they're not quite centered, so I'm going to use the boring head to true them up. I'm missing the telescoping bore gauge in this size, so I'm just reaming these to final size. This is a piece of salvaged wrought iron that's left over from my rotary table build. Drilling this, it wandered quite a lot, so I'm going back in with the boring bar to true it up a little. Tapping this hole gave me some problems, but I did eventually get it figured out.
Rather than tap it from both ends, I'm just running the tap through the whole way. I think the next thing to do is figure out what this piece looks like and then figure out how it fits on there. I want to sleeve this hole down so I'm reaming it with an undersized reamer. That's the rest of the shank from my face mill arbor. Undersized hole, spot on. A little Loctite should be good. Milling hard stuff like this is something I'm really weak at. I can turn it, I can drill it, I reamed a hole in this, I even cut that off with the hacksaw. But Trying to just machine this down is not working for me. And at this point I'm going to cut my losses on this one. Well, I should have done that the first time.
So these knurled knobs do work for tightening this, but it's not real pleasant to get them as tight as they need to be. So I'm just gonna add a little Tommy bar on here. You might do something the same on here because it's a half inch hex, which that gets kind of ridiculous. That's tight, so I want this yeah, probably there, and then this one across there. Two more things to do on here real quick. One of them is to put a V groove in the bottom of this in case I ever want to grind something around. Even with a really sharp end mill, you're never going to have a perfectly square corner, so I need to relieve the corners. I'm just using a slitting saw for this. I'll replace these with some actual set screws at some point, but these are just what I had on hand. As I was working on this, I was really concerned about this piece clearing underneath here so I could rotate this the whole way up. And I spent a long time racking my brain trying to figure out how to get that to work. If I could cut the head on this down, um, just how I could get it to work. And I couldn't come up with a solution I really liked. And then I finally figured out the way to do it is like that. So that's overthinking things. So this abomination is an internal threading tool that I made out of a broken end mill. And I was thinking, you know, I would clean this up, but one limitation of this is when it's set up at a steep angle, you don't really actually get a relief angle from this. So at some point I'll probably go back and make another piece that will mount like this so I can get my angle and then lean it this way. But for now, I'm gonna call that done. The first job for this is to clean up this beautifully hand ground Acme threading tool. So I need this set at 14 and a half degrees. To do that, I have it in the mill with an indicator. And if the math scares you, just look up a triangle calculator. You know, you pop in 14 and a half degrees and I'm gonna go back and forth two inches and it tells me I'm gonna go 0. 0.517. There it is. And for the side relief angle, I'm just kind of eyeballing this based on what was here before. Yeah, something like that maybe. I'm going to leave the important angle set and just flip the tool bit over and reset the side relief. I didn't bother cleaning up all of this because that part's never going to get used, but that came out pretty nice. It has a knife edge on it now and a point, and I need to put a little flat on there 
I know what the width of the flat is, and I know what the angle on the top is, 29 degrees. So from that, I can calculate how much I need to grind down. So I'm just going to touch off and grind down to knock that flat in at the right width. That's a little too much, but it's not a big deal. End result, pretty good. Because it's easy, I just knocked the knife edge off with the bench grinder here, left the tip. Pretty good. As always, thanks for watching, and if you like watching me build things like this out of junk, do subscribe to the channel. There's plenty more where that came from.